Hello, this is a video to Hannibal Barca. Um, I was hoping you might take the time to uh, critique a little theory of mine, my scientific or, or uh, not uh, my whatever. I know more about physics than biology and philosophy and logic than biology, but I am interested. Now, uh, so I have a theory that's a bit half baked, probably, but I so I wonder what you make of it. Okay. So, what I notice is supposedly we're like uh, five or six or seven, you know, plus or minus a million or whatever. So let me just use six million years separated from the chimpanzee. Now, I have never been able to find out if that is a, a surprisingly huge, just how surprisingly huge that gap is or even that it is. I, I have not found, like, what is the average, you know, time of separation of, of similar species, you know, how usually, you know, I would be curious to know for a species, generally speaking on average, how close of a relative, of a distinct relative does it have? You know, how far back do they go? You know, because to me, it seems like that's a big gap. And we're finding out Cro-Magnons killed off Neanderthals, I think, but maybe I'm projecting that. Maybe that's part of the crackpot thing, but I, I've always sort of suspected that and it seems like they found some some examples you know they find these neanderthal sites where people were massacred and stuff it, it i think they were i mean it looks like the the chimps that became us ended up you know born of genocide just genocidal and killing everything on two feet two feet for you know millions of years and until they finally finished off the neanderthal and have been fighting with each other ever since so, um, yeah, born of genocide. On the other hand, I kind of think, oh, six million years is the amount of time it takes to, to have a really long thought and maybe change your mind. So we're turning the corner. Peace, peace around the corner. But it doesn't sound too realistic when you put it this way. But hey, evolution's still going on. There's no reason we could, you know, just have irony kick in and, and we become the caretakers of the planet I think we should be and, and uh, give up on the uh, common chimp thing maybe you know, bringing a little more bonobo into the situation so uh, yeah what do you think about that or do you know anything about it or is it how off base or on base or you know it's a non-scientific sort of pseudo theorem of mine and um, and I think you might be able to shed some light on it and if so thank you in advance uh, and cheers and thanks for uh, thanks for your videos I'm very much enjoying your channel um, well, just a PS postscript, yeah. I'm enjoying your channel. The first I heard of you was somebody in an anti-natalist video of mine, and I guess you've been making some comments and I happen not to notice them. Um, I read all the comments, but it only tells you about one, so if you have, if it tells you there's one and there's other ones, sometimes you miss the other ones, so even trying to read them all. And somebody was saying something like, he's one of yours, like you were going to be some nutcase, and I watched your, and I, my immediate reaction was, why is he one of mine, what are you talking about? But I then also watch your videos, and I'm like, yeah, okay, he's one of mine. <laughs> um, I really like your, your attitude, your knowledge, and your approach. So, anyway, cheers.